principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the solid brown trunks. He tipped in at an even 155 pounds. This gentleman has 16 wins, two losses with eight knockouts. From Fort Worth, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Bobby, the Brown Bomber, McCurvey. McCurvey. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the plaid trunks. He too weighed in at an even 155 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 21 professional bouts with 17 knockouts. A native of Montreal, Canada, and now residing in Jersey City, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, here is Matthew Hilton. Hilton. Second. Any question? I give you all. All right, so we're all set to go here with a 10-round super welterweight fight featuring Matthew Hilton and Bobby McCorvey. Hilton, of course, coming in, as you heard the ring announcer, at Darien State at 21-0 with 17 knockouts. He's ranked fifth by the WBC, fourth by the WBA. He's ranked sixth by Ring Magazine, so he's up there in every accord. Bobby McCorvey coming in 16-2, eight knockouts for him. A big opportunity to move up into the rankings. He's from Fort Worth, Texas, and he's looking for a big win here. He won his last time out in December, and Tom of Texas. Of course, Matthew Hilton saw last month here in the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network when he stopped Bruce Jackson in the sixth round of a TKO. Uh, he also knocked out Wilfred Benitez in February, which you may have seen here on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. So here we go. We're just underway. Round one. Again, the scoring here in New York State is by rounds. And there's a four-point supplemental scoring system that goes along. We'll explain that to you a bit later on. There's no standing eight counts. There's a mandatory eight count following knockdowns. The ring doctor in the state can stop the fight. And you'll notice that these fighters are wearing gloves with thumbs. In the state of New York, they wear thumbless gloves. However, Matthew Hilton is the Canadian champion, so by choice, champions and former champions do not have to wear the thumbless gloves, as is the rule in the state of New York. All right, let's see how things get rolling here for Hilton and McCorvey in round one. Just on the way here, and again, schedule for 10 rounds, super welterweight division, or the junior middleweight division, over 154, and both of them get in just a bit over that at 155. Nice shot that time by Matthew Hilton. McCorvey seems to have pretty good hand speed, trying to keep that jab in the face of Matthew Hilton. Appears to have a little bit uh, of an advantage in reach. McCorvey is two and a half inches taller. He has five years in age experience. Ooh, a shot that drops. McCorvey to the canvas right away here. The count is up to five and six. McCorvey still very, very wobbly on his legs. We're only in round number one. I don't know if he's going to be able to continue. The referee, Nick Drake, checks with him, and Matthew Hilton moves in for the kill. Good right hand body shot. Another right hand to the head. And he catches him with a left hook to drop him for the second time. This time, Nick Drake waves him off, and this fight's all over. He could have counted him out, but he waved him off, so we'll have to wait and see whether they scored as a TKO or a knockout. By the fact he waved him off, it would be scored as a first-round TKO win for Matthew Hilton. However, he could have counted to 20, and I doubt if Bobby McCorvey would have got off the canvas that time. So a first-round knockout to send Matthew Hilton's record to 22-0 with 18 knockouts. And there you see Bobby McCorvey, who bit off more than he can chew up here from Fort Worth, Texas, taking on a world-class fighter and Matthew Hilton. A tough first round, a tough introduction to Madison Square Garden in the big time for Bobby McCorvey. All right, we're going to show you the replay here. Look for the left hand. This is the first knockdown. Sets it up with the left hand and then nails him with the right hand and drops him. That was more of the flash type of knockdown. And you see he gets back up at about a five or six count. And I was surprised that the referee let him continue here. There was no question that he was in deep trouble. He kind of staggers back here, as you see. And referee Nick Drake says, hey, they're professionals. We're going to let them go. He waves Matthew Hilton in, and now it's just a matter of time till he sets up a body shot there. He'll come back with the left hand, and then he'll nail him with the right. There's the right hand there, the left of the body, another left hand, and it's all over. And right there, the referee, Nick Drake, moved in, waved it off, ending the fight. So a big win for Matthew Hilton.
It'll be scored probably as a first round TKO again because the referee didn't bother to count him out. We'll wait for the official announcement. There you see Matthew Hilton, age 20. Looks like he has it all in front of him with a record of 22 and 0 now and 18 knockouts. As his dad, Davey Hilton Sr., the fellow with the dark glasses on next to him, Jimmy Ellis, the former WBA heavyweight champion of the world. And of course, Bill Present is the cut man that also works that corner. So a very, very controlled and experienced corner. Handsome young fellow, real gentleman, Matthew Hilton. And of course, they're from the fighting Hilton family. There's five brothers, four of them are professionals, one still an amateur, and all of them can fight like the Dickens, just like Matthew Hilton. We're waiting for the announcement by Ed Darien. Whether we're going to get it or not uh, remains to be seen as he's gathering the scorecards here, and it looks like we are set for an official announcement by Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of this bout, one minute and 50 seconds of the first round, and a winner by a knockout for his 22nd straight win in his many...